Boar Recovery Indians are on the air. Tonight's special sports coverage on J Country 101 Radio is brought to you in part by community-minded sponsors and the sports department of J Country. Now we take you to the gymnasium for all the exciting basketball action. Well, welcome everybody to the Fortsite Fieldhouse for a Saturday afternoon game between the Fort Recovery Lady Indians and the South Adams Lady Starfires. We just started. South Adams has the basketball at the moment. There's a shot fired up and no good. Rebound comes down to Grace Guggenbiller of uh, Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery won the junior varsity game by a score of 50-21 to 21 today, beating a pretty good Fort, uh, South Adams team. South Adams now 9-4 and four after the loss. Fort Recovery is 8-5 in JV play. Again, Fort Recovery won the JV contest 50-21. to 21. Here's Kennedy Mullenkamp for Fort Recovery. No good. Rebound. Whitley Rammel lost it out of her fingertips, but they say it was touched by South Adams, and South Adams' Kristen Wynn says, what? So anyway, I think maybe Fort Recovery got a break on that play. Welcome those of you who are watching on TV on the... Uh, National High School Network and those who are listening on the radio on WPGW AM and FM in Portland and 105.3 FM in Portland and on FortRecoveryRadio.com today. No score in the game just underway here. First quarter brought to you by Calp Pharmacy in Fort Recovery and also Burn, Indiana and Union City, Indiana. That's Calp Pharmacy, a great pharmacy, great people to do business with. Those of you up in the South Adams community, I know you appreciate Cal Pharmacy having their location there in Bern. Here's Mara Pearson for Fort Recovery, free throw line. They're going to call her for traveling with the basketball. The Family Dentistry Office of Dr. Thomas Banda would like to wish the Fort Recovery Lady Indians the best of luck in today's game with South Adams. Dr. Banda's staff includes Fort Recovery graduates, Lori Ten and Chrissy Hart. Dr. Thomas Banda would love to be your family's dentist. He is accepting new patients. That's Dr. Thomas Banna, Highway 67, the west edge of Portland. Family dentistry of Dr. Tom Banna. Foul is called on Fort Recovery here. South Adams with the ball. Three-point shots, no good. Rebound. Kennedy Mullenkamp, and we had a foul call, I think, on South Adams. Not sure who that was on. That foul a moment ago on Fort Recovery was on Mara Pearson. It is called a uh, foul on Kennedy Mullenkamp of Fort Recovery a moment ago. South Adams will get the basketball back underneath their own hoop. Having trouble getting it in, they finally do. There's a shot from the right corner. It's no good on a three. Rebound, Whitley Rammel, as uh, South Adams just can't seem to find the range here in the early going. That was fired up there by the Lady Starfires, Macy Priest. Macy and her sister play the guard spots on this team. Mara Bader, uh, Mara Bader, Mara, Mara Pearson driving for the uh, hoop and had the ball tipped out of her hands, and she last touched it. So it's going to be given to the South Adams Lady Starfires. No score in the game here early on. Fort Recovery is at 2-11. and 11. South Adams 9-6. and six. And dribbling down and losing the ball out of bounds was Carly Sealscott. She just lost the handle on it. Several turnovers here in the game on both teams' parts. Mara Pearson will bring the basketball up for the Fort Recovery Lady Indians. She's double teamed at the timeline but drives around it. Now passing off to Alexis. Up, no good. Back up, and good. First basket, finally, Alexis Wendell getting her own rebound and scoring underneath. Makes the score now 2 to nothing. Here's South Adams with the ball on the left side. Seal Scott puts it up, no good. Rebound comes to Fort Recovery. Alexis Wendell over to Mara Pearson. Pearson to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Mullenkamp across the timeline. Right side it goes to Alexis Wendell. She'll pass to Mara Pearson. Marsha in the corner. Mara lost it, but they said it was touched by uh, South Adams' Peyton Priest. 2 nothing score, Fort Recovery with the early lead and with the ball here in the first quarter. Five minutes to go in the quarter. Inbounds pass is stolen 
by uh, Peyton Priest of South Adams goes all the way down and lays it in. Peyton Priest gets the first basket for South Adams and that ties up the game at two apiece. For recoveries, Kennedy Mollenkamp brings it down across the timeline. These two teams will play again on Tuesday night over at South Adams. We'll be there to bring you the game on Tuesday night from the Star Dome at South Adams. A really nice place to play. Whitley Rammel off to Amara Pearson, drives and fires and hits. If Whitley Rammel the assist, Mara Pearson gets the basket, her first of the day. And it's now 4-2, Fort Recovery leading by two. South Adams with the ball underneath, it's up and good. They found Cora Baker wide open underneath, and she scores. That makes the score now 4-4. Four four. We're all tied up. Kennedy Mollenkamp on the left to Alexis Wendell. Wendell between the circles. Moves her way to the right side to Whitley Rammel. Rammel dribbling to the free throw line. Tries to pass it off, and a foul's going to be called on South Adams. Going to call that one on Peyton Priest. That's number one on Peyton. Peyton and her sister Macy both have one foul apiece, and those are the only fouls so far on South Adams. Pass comes in to Kennedy Mollenkamp. South Adams had a very impressive win the other night over Adams Central by about 20 points. Maybe not so surprising that it was a win for South Adams, but the margin of uh, victory was a surprise. There's a ball tipped out of bounds by Fort Recovery, and South Adams will have the basketball. Lady Starfires and Fort Recovery tied at 4-4 here on a Saturday afternoon. Fort Recovery was supposed to play Ansonia on this date, but Ansonia had health issues and had to cancel out of the game this week. So South Adams agreed to come up and play Fort Recovery today. That's why we're playing the Lady Starfires of South Adams. There's a shot up, no good, by Macy Priest. Rebound Whitley Rammel. Rammel fires over to Kennedy Mollenkamp, who will take it across the timeline. Back to Rammel. Looks for the three-point shot, decides against it. Mara Pearson on the right. Tie score, 4-4. Pearson driving, misses, and there's going to be a foul called on South Adams. Nope, on Mara Pearson. 22, Mara Pearson. Offensive foul on Mara Pearson. That's number two on her. And so she will leave the game. Callie Wendell comes in, and so does uh, Carly Niekamp come in. And I think somebody else must have come in, too. Let's see who else is out there. Oh, Kenzie Garkey is out there now, too. Callie Wendell guarding out front. Kristen Wynn for South Adams. In the lane, there's a shot fired up. No good by Carly Seals-Scott. Back outside to... One of the Priest girls, Peyton Priest, she missed the three-point shot. Macy Priest got the rebound, back up no good. Rebound back up no good, and a foul is called on Fort Recovery. It's going to be whistled on Carly Niekamp, and uh, that's going to send South Adams to the free throw line as Cora Baker will go up there with two, two shots. She can break the tie here. First one's up, and it is no good. Almost rolled in there, but not quite. Tonight we'll be at South Adams to bring you the Jay County Woodland Games in the ACAC Conference Tournament. Championship games tonight, 6 o'clock for the girls and 7.30 for the boys. Jay County versus Woodland for the conference championship games tonight. Here's the next one up, and this one's good. One out of two for Cora Baker, and that makes the score 5-4. to four. Welcome all you South Adams fans that might be watching or listening in today. And, of course, our regular listeners for Fort Recovery in the area. Glad to have you back today. Whitley Ramble with the basketball. Dribbles to the right. Tries to pass to Kennedy Mollenkamp, and it goes through Kennedy's hands and out of bounds. Turnover, South, uh, turnover Fort Recovery. Sebastian Solis is our studio producer at the radio station today, and Neil Spencer is here at the game site today for FortRecoveryRadio.com. South Adams with the ball. Over on the left side is Peyton Priest. Peyton will drive in, lost the handle on it, picks it back up, and scores. She almost lost control of that and lost possession, but she managed to hang on to it somehow. 
And then got the shot off of about five feet out on the left side. Makes it seven to four now. South Adams leading by three. Fort Recovery continues to be bugged by uh, their lack of offense. And that's the, still the case today. Only four points for Fort Recovery. And there's a five second call called on Whitley Ramble. She did not get rid of the basketball while being closely guarded within five seconds. So turnover of Fort Recovery and South Adams has the ball back. Over on the right side, here's a drive in, back outside, Macy Priest with it. She'll pass it off, and it's knocked away and stolen by Alexis Wendell. Here's Kennedy Mollenkamp with the ball. Mollenkamp moves to the right, over to Alexis. Alexis drives the baseline. Back outside to Kneecamp, and uh, there's a foul called on somebody. Might be, uh, it's like a shooting foul for... Carly Niekamp, foul was called on uh, Kristen Wynn. That is number one on Wynn. Carly Niekamp, a pretty good free throw shooter at the free throw line, and she missed that one. Oh boy, didn't even hit the rim. I must have jinxed her. Carly will have one more here. Coming in for South Adams is Lexi McKibben and setting down is Cora Baker for the moment for South Adams. Free throw is up and this one's no good. It bounced off the rim. So Carly goes 0 for 2. South Adams with the basketball. Out front with it, Kristen Wynn. She'll pass it off. Macy Priest now goes over to Lexi McKibben. McKibben on the left wing to Peyton Priest, who drives and fires and misses, and she's fouled in the act of shooting. South Adams leading 7-4 over Fort Recovery. 1-12 to go in the first quarter, brought to you by Calp Pharmacy. Don't forget, Calp Pharmacy has that excellent weekly prescription program. They'll deliver your prescription to you on a weekly basis. Just ask a friendly Calp Pharmacy pharmacist if that's the right program for you. And again, you'll find Cal Pharmacy in Fort Recovery and in Burn and in Union City, Indiana as well. Free throw is no good by Peyton Priest. She'll have one more. Callie Wendell comes back in and uh, Carly Niekamp will go out for the Lady Indians. Bouncing the ball is Peyton Priest. Eyes the basket, lets it fly, and it's no good. Rebound comes to Callie Wendell. Wendell brings it down across the far sideline, has the ball tipped out of bounds. Tipped out by Macy Priest, and it'll be Fort Recovery with the basketball. The Priest girls spell their name P-R-I-E-S, pronounced Priest. Grace Guggenbiller tosses it in to Alexis Wendell. Wendell at the free throw line, back out to Callie Wendell. Here's Whitley Randall on the left, back out top, and they're going to call three seconds in the lane on Fort Recovery. Another turnover on the Lady Indians. For recovery, stuck on four points here in the first quarter. I, I, I certainly don't know what the answer is, and I know Coach Gann is searching for the answer. Why the Lady Indians just can't score this year. Peyton Priest with the basketball, free throw line. And it's tipped away, and a foul is going to be called on Fort Recovery. I think Alexis Wendell is going to get called for the foul. And yes, it is. Again tonight, Jay County Woodland in the championship games of the ACAC tourney at South Adams. And South Adams just threw the ball away. No, they say it was tipped. No. Some confusion by the officials, and now they say it is Fort Recovery's basketball. Was not tipped. Grace Guggenbiller tossing it in. Longtime coach Wayne Krieger of South Adams. He hasn't been at South Adams. This is his first year there, but he has 597 wins in his girls' basketball coaching career. South Adams needed a coach. He decided, hey, I'll, I'm not done yet. I'll, 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 I'll help him out. So he is coaching the South Adams Lady Starfires. 
There's an inbounds pass stolen by South Adams. Fort Recovery threw it away down to Macy Priest. Up no good. Rebound Whitley Rammel. Down to 14 seconds. Lady Indians come down. Rammel to the right. Now gives off. Alexis Wendell will fire and off the glass no good. South Adams, Peyton Priest with a rebound and the quarter comes to a close. And the score at the end of one, seven to four. Fort Recovery only four points in the fourth quarter. Boy, are they ever struggling. We'll be back in a moment right after this. Hi, this is Jerry Kopp of Kopp Pharmacy, a locally owned Health Mart pharmacy. At Kopp Pharmacy, our compounding pharmacist works with healthcare providers to change the form of medications to make it easier to use. We add flavors, adjust the strength, or combine drugs to make a customized medication for the patient. Kopp Pharmacy is located in Fort Recovery, Ohio, Burn, and Union City, Indiana. So stop in and visit us at kopppharmacy.com. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. Announcing Open House Week at Hall Brothers in Fort Recovery, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer. It's Wednesday through Saturday, January 26th through the 29th. Open House Week is a great time for savings from our parts department. All parts are discounted. That's farm equipment, lawn and garden. All parts are marked down. And you can pre-order your parts now and they'll be ready to go when you stop in. Open House at Hall Brothers, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer, January 26th through the 29th. Stop in and save. Don't forget that's next week. The open house for Hall Brothers Incorporated starts on Wednesday and runs uh, through Saturday of next week. Don't miss out that great opportunity to save money. South Adams has the basketball to start the second quarter. Thanks to Cal Pharmacy for being our first quarter scoreboard sponsor. Don't forget the Cal Pharmacy location in Fort Recovery is uh, open until 7 o'clock Monday through Thursday night until 6 on Friday nights until four on Saturdays and until three on Sundays. Now back to the game and Fort Recovery just came up with the basketball. A shot's missed by Grace Guggenbiller. And now there's gonna be a jump ball called, which is gonna to go to Fort Recovery. Our second quarter is brought to you by k &L Tractor Sales and Service on State Route 49 at the south edge of Fort Recovery, Ohio. Your New Holland and Kloss Farm Equipment dealer. Here's. A pass into Mara Pearson on the inbounds play, and she scores for her second basket of the evening. That makes it 7-6. to six. We're recovering a 2-3 zone right now. So despite the fact the Lady Indians have just struggled, struggled, struggled on offense today, they're only one point behind. South Adams hasn't done a whole lot better. Down in the left corner to Peyton Priest. Back on the outside it goes. With the ball there is Kristen Wynn. Over on the right to Carly Seal Scott. Seal Scott will bounce in the middle to Peyton Priest. Priest will pass over on the left side. South Adams with the ball. Now timeout's going to be called by the Starfires. Coach Krieger, 6.46 to go in the KL Tractor Sales and Service second quarter of play. It's South Adams 7, Fort Recovery 6. We'll be back in a moment. Remember that scene in the Indiana Jones movie where the old knight tells him to choose wisely? Hi, I'm Connor Ramble with Fort Recovery Insurance. When it comes to insurance, choose wisely. Now, I'm not an old knight, but I do know insurance. From farms to factories to cars and ATVs, don't just spin the wheel and choose the first one that comes up. Insurance is too important not to have some local advice on what is wisest for you. ForRecoveryInsurance.com, your local agent for Ohio Mutual Insurance Group. <laughs> Coach Wayne Krieger of South Adams looking for some answers, too, as the Lady Starfires have only scored seven points in the game. Fort Recovery only six. Seven-six score. We're in the second quarter. 6.45 to go in the half. South Adams puts the ball back in play after the timeout. Back out front with it. Peyton Priest over on the right. In the corner it goes. Now inside to Peyton Priest. She tries to put the shot up, and a foul is going to be called on Whitley Rammel. And on Whitley, that's number one on her. Out of bounds to South Adams. No, that's uh, one and one already. That's seven fouls on Fort Recovery. Wow. 
Once again, Peyton Priest at the free throw line. She was there before and missed them both. Let's see what she does here. First one's up, and it's good. Makes it 8-6 to six now. South Adams leading by two. Here in the second quarter, on again the KNL Tractor Sales and Service scoreboard. This one is no good. So she's had a kind of an off day today. Only one of one of four from the free throw line for Peyton Priest. And here's Fort Recovery throwing it away. Another turnover. That's been one of the problems of their offense. Uh, lack of offense is too many turnovers. Shots fired up, no good. Rolls out of bounds. Kristen Wynn missed that one, and it'll be given to Fort Recovery untouched by anybody else after the shot. Grace Guggenmiller will toss it in. Good luck to the Cincinnati Bengals since the Colts lost out. We're certainly going to wish the Bengals the best of luck, and they played this afternoon in their first playoff game. Right side to Grace Guggenbiller. Alexis Wendell, free throw line, fires and misses. Rebound comes down to South Adams, Kristen Wynn. She'll pass long, tries to hit Macy Priest, and it's out of her reach and out of bounds. Turnover on South Adams. 8-6 score, only a two-point game. Again, struggles continue offensively for our Fort Recovery Lady Indians and also for South Adams today, actually. So Fort Recovery with the ball. Mara Pearson, the stop. Looks to pass. Goes to Whitley Rammel on the left. Back out to Grace Guggenbiller. Now it goes to Kenzie Garkey. Kenzie will hand off to Mara Pearson. Lost the ball. Stolen by Macy Priest. Down she comes. Throws it up. No good. They're going to call her for traveling on the play. That was, I don't know. That was kind of a questionable call, I guess, in my mind. I thought she had the shot off ahead of time, but uh, the official didn't see it that way. So a break for Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery comes up with the ball on the turnover by South Adams. Mara Pearson again walks it across the timeline. She's the point guard for the Lady Indians. Whitley Rammel on the right wing. Dribbles the ball, goes to the hole, tries to pass to Kennedy Mollenkamp. Deflects out to uh, Mara Pearson, misses the shot. Whitley Rammel got it, and she puts it up and in, and she's fouled in the act of shooting. Whitley Rammel with her first basket of the day. And at the line goes Whitley Rammel. That was called on uh, Cora Baker. Free throws up off the back of the rim. No good, but Whitley Rammel chased the rebound down, but she can't control it. Who's going to keep it? They're going to say it went off of Kristen Wynn of South Adams. So Grace Guggenbiller will toss it in here for the Fort Recovery Lady Indians. Grace looking for a teammate. They're going to call timeout. Fort Recovery is going to call timeout. They were afraid time was going to expire there, and they didn't want to lose possession. Eight to eight score, timeout Fort Recovery. We'll be back in a moment here in the KNL Tractor Sales and Service second quarter. The St. Henry Bank takes pride in taking care of you when it comes to your banking needs, and we're excited to announce that we have just launched our newly updated website at stheenrybank.com. Enjoy a better online banking experience and the anytime convenience of online banking, online bill pay, deposit checks, make loan payments, make credit card payments, view your account history, monthly statements, and more. We take pride in taking care of you. Stop in and see us and we'll help you set up your online account today. The St. Henry Bank and St. Henry and Maria Stein, member FDIC, equal housing lender. Okay. Fort Recovery will toss the ball in here. 4.51 left to go in the first half of play in the KNL Tractor Sales and Service scoreboard. Fort Recovery and South Adams are tied at 8-8. Whitley Rammel goes in the lane, puts it up no good. Ball goes out of bounds. It'll be given to Fort Recovery. See several of the Fort Recovery boys basketball team down there supporting the Lady Indians today. Pretty slim crowd, though. Not many people here. Pass comes in to Mara Pearson. Back out to Kennedy Mollenkamp will fire and miss short. 
Rebound goes out of bounds off of Fort Recovery. And the basketball will go to the South Adams Lady Starfires. South Adams again, a nice record, 9-6. Fort Recovery kind of struggling this year, 2-11 at the moment. Here's a shot up and no good by Wynn. She got her own rebound back outside. Macy Priest to Peyton Priest. Peyton drives, misses, and a foul is going to be called on Fort Recovery. So Peyton Priest will go to the free throw line with two shots coming here. Again in the reserve game, Fort Recovery won that one easily, 50-21 to 21 over really a pretty good South Adams Junior Varsity team as they were they are now nine and four after the loss. Fort Recovery is at eight and five on the year. Free throws up and good by Peyton Priest. She'll have one more. Bounces the basketball. It's up there and good. Two for two that time. First time she was at the line, she was 0 for 2. Last time she was 1 for 2. This time she's 2 for 2. 10 to 8 is the score. South Adams leads by 2. Fort Recovery with the ball. Whitley Rammel, top of the key. Right side it goes to Kenzie Garkey. Tries to pass off to Grace Guggenbiller. It's intercepted by South Adams. Here is Peyton Priest up and in. Peyton Priest scoring. And that makes the score now 12 to 8. Peyton has nine of her team's 12 points. And a foul is called on South Adams. I'm going to say that's on number four, which is Macy Priest. Here comes Callie Wendell in for Fort Recovery. Kenzie Garkey will go to the bench. South Adams will send a substitute in. Allison Smith is coming in. And uh, Macy Priest will go to the bench with her second foul there. Pass comes in to Callie Wendell. Back out to Grace Guggenbiller. Grace passes back out to Kennedy Mollenkamp. Mollenkamp dribbling the ball. Passing on the left to Whitley Rammel. Rammel back over to Mara Pearson on the right. Mara drives, fires, didn't get it up high enough. Off the side of the rim, no good. Rebound South Adams. Here's Peyton Priest on a three, does not go. Rebound Whitley Rammel, she went way up in the air for that one. Over to Kennedy Mollenkamp, and it's 12 to eight. South Adams on defense, Fort Recovery with the offensive possession here. Trying to get off that eight, they've been on eight for quite a while. Fort Recovery had four points at the first quarter, and they've had four points scored in this quarter. And there is a foul on South Adams. Nope, they say Kennedy Mullenkamp slipped and touched the end line. So violation for Fort Recovery, and that'll give the ball back to South Adams. 2.45 to go here in the first half of play. South Adams with the lead and with the ball. Here's a three-point shot. It is no good. Rebound Kennedy Mollenkamp a full recovery as Kristen Wynn missed that one, and now they're going to call a foul on South Adams on the rebound. i say that was on Cora Baker, number two on Cora. She will come out of the game. As reporting in will be Lexi McKibben for South Adams. No, Kristen Wynn comes out of the game, not Cora Baker. Baker stays in there. Mara Pearson on the left to Whitley Rammel. And a foul is called on Cora Baker of South Adams. That is number three on her. Now she will come out of the game. Looks like coming in will be Michaela Hamrick for South Adams. Hamrick reporting in, and Cora Baker will leave. You're listening to WPGW AM and FM in Portland, Indiana, 105.3 FM in Portland, FortRecoveryRadio.com, and watching on the high school television network. I'm Rob Weaver. Glad to have you tuned in here this afternoon. First free throw is good by Whitley Ramble. Gets us off the eight. The second one is no good, but Kennedy Mullenkamp got the rebound. 
See if Fort Recovery can take advantage of this. Camp drives, fires, and misses. Had a pretty good shot there, wouldn't go down. A rebound comes down to South Adams. Peyton Priest with the ball, top of the key. On the left side it goes, back out to Peyton. Dribbling over in the right corner. That's Lexi McKibben with it. She'll pass in, back out to McKibben. Fires a three-pointer, no good. Rebound, Whitley Rammel of Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery trails by three, 12 to nine. And they're gonna say dribbling violation on Fort Recovery. One forty-four left to go in the first half of play. Over on the left side it goes, ball's loose and knocked out by South Adams. Fort, Fort Recovery had picked up the ball. Callie Wendell had picked it up there. And one of the Lady Starfires tipped it out of bounds. So Fort Recovery with the ball. Down comes Mara Pearson. 124 left in the first quarter. Pearson goes over to Grace Guggenbiller. Grace will pass over to Callie Wendell. Wendell now to Kennedy Mollenkamp. Mollenkamp will pass right side to Grace Guggenbiller. Drives to the hoop. Passes back outside to Mara Pearson. Firing and missing the three. And Grace got it back. Puts it up. It rolls off the top of the rim. No good. Rebound comes to Carly Sealscott of South Adams. Right corner, underneath, back outside. There's a shot blocked by Mara Pearson, came up with the ball. Blocked the Carly Sealscott shot down to Callie Wendell and she'll score. Mara Pearson gets the assist, Callie Wendell the basket. And it's 12 to 11, Fort Recovery back to within one with 30 seconds to go in the first half of play. South Adams, Fort Recovery battling away here. A lot of defense and not much offense by either team. Here's a pass in the lane underneath. Shots up no good and a foul's going to be called on Fort Recovery. Maybe Kennedy Mullenkamp. Let's see. And it is. That is number three on Kennedy Mullenkamp. She's going to have to come out of there. And reporting in will be Carly Neekamp. At the line is Lexi McKibben. It's up and no good. She has two, so one more for her. This would give the Lady Stars a two-point lead if they can convert this free throw here. Shots fired up, and it's good. One of two for Lexi McKibben, who's a sophomore on the South Adams team. Here's a shot up by Mara Pearson off the glass, won't go. Rebounds tipped out, picked up by South Adams. Shots fired up, no good. Missing at the gun was Allison Smith, and that's the end of the first half of play. The score, 13 for the South Adams Lady Starfires, 11 for the Fort Recovery Lady Indians. Thanks again to our second quarter scoreboard sponsor, k &L Tractor Sales and Service in Good old Fort Recovery, Ohio. We do remind you that they have the Great Plains Turbo Max, a vertical tillage tool for all seasons. Look over their new endurance line of litter spreaders, too, from BBI, available at KL Tractor Sales and Service. And of course, they're your New Holland and Kloss Farm Equipment dealer. And remember, if you need a service for your farm machinery, you can always depend on the outstanding technicians at KL Tractor Sales and Service in Fort Recovery, Ohio. We'll be back with the halftime stats for you coming up. Fort Recovery South Adams battling here today. Again, a two-point lead for South Adams, 13-11 over the Fort Recovery Lady Indians. Hello, I'm Kenny Canope from K&L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Whether you work in landscaping, farming, or construction, New Holland 300 Series skid steers and compact loaders are reliable workhorses that stand up to any challenge you face. We at K&L Tractor Sales can show you the many New Holland advantages that allow you to work more efficiently, like the patented Super Boom technology that delivers maximum reach at full height and easy servicing. Stop by K&L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery to see New Holland skid steer and compact track loader. Need a better job where the benefits are great.
family friendly company with competitive pay where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face cooper farms it's more than a workplace make your own schedule we're now offering flexible schedule part-time positions to apply visit cooperfarmsjobs.com cooper farms it's more than a workplace for mechanical work on cars, vans, and more, see Wayne Oil on Fortside Street, Fort Recovery, Ohio. Farmers, don't forget, Wayne Oil opens daily at 7 a.m. They have tires by Michelin, Firestone, Goodyear, and Mastercraft. Plus, Wayne Oil supplies home, farm, and industrial heating oil, too. Call Wayne Oil in Fort Recovery, 419-375-4256. Hi, this is Jerry Kaup of Kaup Pharmacy, a locally owned Health Mart pharmacy. At Kaup Pharmacy, our compounding pharmacist works with healthcare providers to change the form of medications to make it easier to use. We add flavors, adjust the strength, or combine drugs to make a customized medication for the patient. Kaup Pharmacy is located in Fort Recovery, Ohio, Burn, and Union City, Indiana. So stop in and visit us at kauppharmacy.com. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. At the St. Henry Bank, we take pride in taking care of you when it comes to your banking needs. And through our website at stheenrybank.com, you can enjoy the anytime convenience of online banking, online bill pay, make loan payments, make credit card payments, view your account history and monthly statements and more. Stop in and see us and we'll help you set up your online account today. We take pride in taking care of you. The St. Henry Bank in St. Henry and Maria Stein, large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. Halftime here at the Fortside Fieldhouse. A rather slim crowd on hand here this afternoon. Fort Recovery 2 and 11. And South Adams 9 and 6 on the year. South Adams with the slight lead. 13 11 at halftime, as both teams have really been struggling from the field today. At the end of the first quarter, it was South Adams leading 7 to 4. And in the second quarter, the. Uh, Lady Indians scored seven points, and South Adams scored six points to make it a two-point lead at halftime. South Adams 13 and Fort Recovery 11. In the game so far, it won't take me too long to figure these uh, totals out for you. Four points for Mara Pearson, the lead uh, Fort Recovery on two two-point goals on the day. Three points for Whitley Rammel on a two and one out of three at the line. Two points for Alexis Wendell on a two-point goal. Two points for Callie Wendell on a two-point goal. 0 for 2 at the free throw line for Carly Niekamp. No, no scoring for Carly. For the South Adams Lady Starfires, they are laid, led by Peyton Priest. Peyton has a total of uh, three two-point goals and three out of six at the free throw line, so she has a total of nine points on the day for South Adams to lead their team. Otherwise, not much help. Cora Baker has three points on a two-point basket and one out of two at the free throw line. And Lexi McKibben has one point on one out of two at the free throw line. That's the scoring for South Adams in this varsity competition so far today. Again, Peyton Priest about the only one who's doing anything for either team. She has nine points. Fort Recovery led by Mara Pearson with just four points. We'll talk about the Junior Varsity victory for Fort Recovery over South Adams in the Junior Varsity game today, right after we pause for this. Mark your calendars for Open House Week at Hall Brothers, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer in Fort Recovery. It's Wednesday through Saturday, January 26th through the 29th. Enjoy 15% off all filters for your Case IH and Kubota branded equipment. All parts are at least 10% off. There's refreshments every day and chances to win prizes. Please send your pre-orders so that we can have your order ready when you come in. Wednesday through Saturday, January 26th through the 29th. Hall Brothers and Fort Recovery. And don't forget the uh, open house at Hall Brothers is this coming week. Starts on Wednesday. And... Uh, Actually, I believe it runs through Friday there at Hall Brothers 
in Fort Recovery, Ohio, your Case IH and Kubota dealer. Ever try to buy insurance online? Hi, I'm Connor Ramo with Fort Recovery Insurance. On the internet, it's hard to tell a computer your truck spends half its life in a field or that you keep your jet ski in a pole barn. Here, life's different than the big city or suburbs. So are our insurance needs. As your local agent for Ohio Mutual Insurance Group, we can address your concerns and a few you may not be aware of. Insurance done local. It's what we do. FortRecoveryInsurance.com. Need a better job where the benefits are great. A family-friendly company with competitive pay. Where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face. Cooper Farms. More than a workplace. We're offering $1,000 sign-on bonuses for maintenance and CDL drivers. To apply, visit cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooper Farms. It's more than a workplace. For mechanical work on cars, vans, and more, see Wayne Oil on Fortside Street, Fort Recovery, Ohio. Farmers, don't forget, Wayne Oil opens daily at 7 a.m. They have tires by Michelin, Firestone, Goodyear, and Mastercraft. Plus, Wayne Oil supplies home, farm, and industrial heating oil, too. Call Wayne Oil in Fort Recovery, 419-375-4256. Back here at the Fortside Fieldhouse, Fort Recovery, Ohio. In the JV game, it was uh, pretty much all Fort Recovery. Fort Recovery led 16-3 at the first quarter. Led 32-11 at halftime. 40-15 after three, and the final was 50-21. to 21, Fort Recovery the victor. This is a pretty good South Adams Junior Varsity team. They came in at 9-3 and three on the year. They're now 9-4. and four. Fort Recovery improved their record to 8-5 and five on the year with the victory. For Fort Recovery today, they were led in scoring by Sage Leithold and Kennedy Mollenkamp with eight points apiece. Seven each for Eva Colleg and Elizabeth Allig. Chipping in with five was Mara winning. Four points for Carly Niekamp, Kenzie Garkey, and Maddie Guggenbiller. And then three points for Callie Wendell. So a lot of girls scoring for Fort Recovery in the JV game. The varsity would love to have 50 points in their game today. For uh, South Adams, they were led in scoring by Delaney Dunnock with six and Emerson Smith with six. Three for Liz Gerber. Two points apiece for uh, Camelia Wright, also uh, Kenzie Nuenswander, and uh, Kaylee Herman. Again, Fort Recovery wins the junior varsity game 50-21. to We'll be back with the tip-off of the second half of play at halftime here. It's Fort Recovery trailing South Adams 13-11. Hello, I'm Kenny Cano from k and Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. Building the future starts with the right tools. That's why you should ask us at k and about the hard-working, dependable, constructed equipment from New Holland, including skid steer loaders, compact track loaders, loader backhoes, tractor loaders, compact excavators, and compact wheel loaders. Every New Holland model offers clean, responsive power, built-in comfort and versatility that helps you master any job, any challenge, any time. Learn more. Stop by k and Tractor in Fort Recovery today. Hi, this is Jerry Kaufman of Kaufman Pharmacy, a locally owned health mark pharmacy. When you're in need of a new pair of diabetic shoes, at Cal Pharmacy, our pharmacists can measure and fit your feet so both shoes and inserts can be custom to you. Cal Pharmacy carries Anodyne or Dr. Comfort diabetic shoes and are able to bill Medicare, Medicaid, or insurance. So call Cal Pharmacy in Fort Recovery at 800-686-2314 so we can help answer your questions or schedule a diabetic shoe fitting appointment. Health Mark, taking the time to listen and care. Need a better job where the benefits are great. A family friendly company with competitive pay. Where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face. Cooper Farms. It's more than a workplace. Locations in Van Wert, Fort Recovery, St. Henry, Rossburg, and Coldwater. Start at $15.25 an hour for full-time production. Flexible options available, too. To apply, visit cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooper Farms, it's more than a workplace. This is what matters. This is beyond X's and O's. This is the difference mutual respect makes. This is what character looks like. This is what defines us in Ohio. 
This is sportsmanship. School sports, it's not the outcome that matters most, but the way the games are played. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. OHSAA making a major announcement this week that they were adding girls wrestling and uh, boys volleyball to their list of uh, sports, making a total of now 28 sports. And uh, they're kind of under a, uh, what should I say, they're kind of under a period of time here where, again, uh, they're not full-fledged sports yet, but they are in the process of becoming full-fledged sports. And girls wrestling is a really fast-growing sport all across the country. South Adams has the ball to start the quarter, and there's a foul called on Fort Recovery's Grace Guggenviller. Congratulations, by the way, to Mallory Winter of Jay County High School. She won the state championship in her weight class in high school wrestling yesterday at Kokomo. So Jay County has its very first girls state champion in wrestling. Here's a shot from outside by Peyton Priest, no good. And a uh, rebound comes to Grace Guggenbiller. Over to Mara Pearson. Peyton is leading the team in scoring with nine points on the day. Whitley Rammel on the left side to Mara Pearson. Grace Guggenbiller at the free throw line. Right side to Alexis Wendell. Back to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Around the horn over to Mara Pearson on the left. Out top, Whitley Rammel back to Mara Pearson on the left, looking. Cross-court pass to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Alexis Wendell dumps it in to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Blocked there by uh, South Adams' Carly Sealscott, and here comes South Adams with the basketball. The left side jumper is no good uh, by Peyton Priest. Rebound, Kennedy Mullenkamp. Mullenkamp will bring it up the middle, crossing the timeline. Right-hand dribble to the right. Goes down to Alexis Wendell. Wendell in the corner. And Whitley Rammel fell, and she is injured. I don't know what happened. Whitley Rammel somehow is injured. I did not see what happened. There's no foul been called or anything. So timeout on the court while Whitley Rammel is being, uh, again, attended to. And we'll be back in a moment. Hello, I'm Kenny Cadot from k &L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. For a tractor with big chore versatility and power, ask us at k &L Tractor in Fort Recovery about the 140 to 165 horsepower T7 series tractors from New Holland. They're the all-around workhorse you need for loading, haymaking, mixing feed, and spreading manure. They offer choice of transmissions and unmatched versatility to power implements on front or back. Plus, you work your best in the quiet comfort of a Horizon cab. See us at k &L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery today. Hi, this is Jerry Kapp with Kapp Pharmacy, a locally owned health mart pharmacy. The aches, the headaches, the stuffy noses. When you or your family are not feeling well, ask our caring Kapp Pharmacy pharmacists about the wide selection of over-the-counter medications, vitamins, and supplements we have at Kapp Pharmacy. Kapp Pharmacy is located in Fort Recovery, Ohio, Burn in Union City, Indiana. So stop in or call Kapp Pharmacy at 800-686-2314, Health Mart. Taking the time to listen and care. Well, Whitley Ramble was helped off the floor, and she walked off on her own to the dressing room. And now they're going to call a foul on Alexis Wendell running into uh, Macy Priest of South Adams. It's number two on Alexis. South Adams with the ball, leading here 13-11. Well, Fort Recovery may have to play the rest of the game without Whitley Rammel. There's a three-point shot up and good by Macy Priest, and that's her first basket of the day. Peyton Priest has nine points, but Macy had not scored until now. Fort Recovery with the ball. Kennedy Mullenkamp fires it up from the right corner. No good, and a foul's called on the rebound on Neekamp. Carly Neekamp gets called for the foul. 16-11, five-point South Adams lead. Fort Recovery's been kind of hanging around, even though they haven't been able to score much. But uh, South Adams starting to show signs of maybe pulling away here. There's a drive baseline, and a foul is going to be called. 
Nope, timeout's called by uh, South Adams. Timeout by South Adams. We'll be back. When you trust your money to a bank, you want to be sure it's in an account that's right for you. At the St. Henry Bank, we are your everyday bank for your everyday busy lifestyle. And we offer a variety of both personal and business checking accounts. And we take pride in helping you decide what type of account best suits your needs. Stop in and see us today. The St. Henry Bank in St. Henry and Maria Stein. We take pride in taking care of you. The St. Henry Bank, large enough to serve you, small enough to know you. Member FDIC, Equal Housing Lender. We're at the Fort Sight Fieldhouse in Fort Recovery, Ohio today. This game was supposed to be Fort Recovery and Ansonia, but Ansonia had health issues and could not come to the game. I imagine COVID problems. So uh, Fort Recovery had time to recruit another opponent, and South Adams agreed to come up and play, even though these two teams are playing again on Tuesday night at South Adams. Now the officials are discussing something else. I don't know what's going on here. Well, some kind of an issue with uh, the officials in South Adams. I don't know what it is. Not sure what the issue was. Everybody seems to be happy. Macy Priest will toss the ball in here for South Adams. Comes into the corner, back to Priest. There's Peyton Priest, cross-court pass comes over here to Kristen Wynn, who's between the circles. On the left to Macy Priest, to Kristen Wynn, back to Macy. Macy fires a three, no good, and she's fouled by Alexis Wendell. And that's a three-point shot. Alexis, her third foul of the game. So going to the free throw line is Macy Priest for South Adams. She will have three free throws. First one's up and good. That was really kind of after the, uh, after the shot, but the official gave her three free throws anyway. First one's good. Here's the second one for Macy. It's up and it's good. The Priest girls are sisters. Macy's the sophomore and Peyton is the junior. So they'll both be back next year as the dynamic duo at the guard spots for South Adams. Here's one more for Macy. It is good again. She hits all three, and that balloons the lead to eight points now from five to eight. South Adams 19, Fort Recovery 11. Lady Indians have not scored here in the second half. Here's a shot up by Mara Pearson. Shot is blocked, rebound South Adams, down to Peyton Priest, lays it up and in. Peyton Priest now with 11 points on the day. It's 21 to 11. 10 point game. And here comes South Adams again as Fort Recovery lost the ball. And there's a foul called on Fort Recovery on a shooting situation. Peyton Priest will be at the line. It was on Mara Pearson, her third personal foul. Here's Peyton Priest. Three out of six at the line for her today, and she hits that one. Four out of seven now. That makes it an 11-point lead, 22 to 11. One more, it's up and no good. Off the front of the rim. Rebound Grace Guggenbiller as Grace jumped in the lane there like she should and got the rebound. Fort Recovery with the ball. Desperately needing a basket here. Carly Nixon back on the right side to Callie Wendell, and there's a timeout called by Fort Recovery. Timeout, Fort Recovery. The score with 4.30 to go in the third quarter. 22 for the South Adams Lady Starfires, 11 for Fort Recovery. Announcing Open House Week at Hallbrook. 
Brothers and Fort Recovery, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer. It's Wednesday through Saturday, January 26th through the 29th. Open House Week is a great time for savings from our parts department. All parts are discounted. That's farm equipment, lawn and garden. All parts are marked down. And you can pre-order your parts now and they'll be ready to go when you stop in. Open House at Hall Brothers, your local Case IH and Kubota dealer, January 26th through the 29th. Stop in and save. It seems like the most entertaining things on TV these days are those funny insurance commercials. Hi, I'm Connor Rammel with Fort Recovery Insurance. When it comes to insurance, you need someone who knows the difference between insuring a farm and an economy automobile. As your local agent for Ohio Mutual Insurance Group, I know that our area and our neighbors have unique needs. When it comes to insurance, think local. And if you want a funny joke, I'll do my best. Find us online at fortrecoveryinsurance.com. Once again tonight here on the radio, we'll have Jay County basketball, Jay County and Woodland in the championship games of the ACAC Conference Tournament from the South Adams Stardome. Jay County plays the girls game at 6 with Woodland, followed by the boys at 8 o'clock tonight. Again, the boys game starting at 8. They're, they're allowing a little extra time between games for cutting down the nets and so forth. There's a drive by Mara Pearson up and no good, and she's fouled in the act of shooting. Mara will be at the free throw line. Call the foul on Kristen Wynn, number two on Kristen. There's Mara Pearson at the line, trying to get foot recovery on the scoreboard here in the second half. She does not do it. The free throw is no good. These are her first free throws uh, of the game. One more for Mara. This one is no good again. Oh, my goodness. The lid is on the basket today for Fort Recovery, and it has been most of the year. Just can't get offense going. Here's South Adams losing the ball. Macy Priest had the ball tipped away from her, and South Adams on defense as Fort Recovery back on offense. Mara Pearson with the ball. Bounce pass. Tried to come out here to uh, Kenzie Garkey, and uh, they throw it away. Turnover, Fort Recovery. Macy Priest came up with the ball for the South Adams Lady Stars. On the left side it goes to Allison Smith. Way over on the right, here's a drive by Kristen Wynn, up and no good. Rebound comes to Fort Recovery. Kennedy Mullenkamp across the timeline. Dribbles to the right, stops, feeds to Mara Pearson. Over to Grace Guggenbiller, fires and scores. Grace Guggenbiller finally gets the first points of the second half for Fort Recovery. Makes it a 22-13 game. South Adams leading by nine. Down here underneath is Peyton Priest, and she is fouled in the act of shooting. Going to foul the, call the foul on Carly Nixon. I think that's her third personal foul, maybe. So Peyton Priest at the free throw line. She had a nice pass there from Carly Sealscott to set up the shot. And the free throw is good by Peyton. She has almost all the points for South Adams. One more is coming up, and it is good again. Let's see. She has 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 points for Peyton Priest on the day now. I don't think she has come out of the game. I think she's played every minute so far. 24 to 13, South Adams leads by 11. Here's Mara Pearson up and no good, and they're gonna call a foul on Mara Pearson. I think that's number four. Yep, number four on Mara. Whitley Ramble is back on the bench. She did come out of the locker room. I don't know whether she's going to get in the lineup again or not. And I did not see what happened to Whitley to cause her agony. Mara Pearson comes out of the lineup. We have Kenzie Garkey, Callie Wendell, Kennedy Mullenkamp, Grace Guggenbiller, and uh, Carly Niekamp in the lineup here for Fort Recovery. Here's Macy Priest hitting a three-point shot. 
And Fort Recovery is falling way behind now, 27 to 13. South Adams pulling away. And it's almost another steal goes out of bounds. They're going to say it's Fort Recovery's ball last touched by Macy Priest. Nice job by Macy trying to steal the ball away. Against South Adams, a nice record, 9-6 and six on the year. Fort Recovery, a, a sagging record, unfortunately. They're 2-11 and 11 on the campaign. Here's a shot by Carly Niekamp. Banks it in from the free throw line. Well, hey, we needed a little bit of luck. Carly Niekamp scoring her first points of the day. Here's South Adams, Peyton Priest at the free throw line. Missed it. And saved by South Adams. Here's an outside shot, no good. Rebound, Kennedy Mullenkamp. And a foul is going to be called on Lexi McKibben of South Adams. Number one on Lexi. I think Peyton Priest thought she was fouled there on that shot. But there was no call. 157 left to go here in the third quarter. Lady Indians trailing South Adams 27 to 15. So far only four points in this second half for Fort Recovery. Carly Niekamp on the left, back to Callie Wendell. Scramble for the ball, it's gonna go to... It's gonna go to South Adams, nope, Fort Recovery. Gracie Guggenbiller will toss it in for the Lady Indians. Pass comes in to Kennedy Mullenkamp, and there's a foul call before the pass got in. Going to call that on Peyton Priest. Number two on Peyton. Gracie Guggenbiller tosses it in to Kenzie Garkey, and now here's the ball thrown away. I don't know who, where that was going. Another turnover on Fort Recovery. Lady Indians pressing full court. Peyton Priest just drives right through it. Back out to Macy Priest. Macy will pass over on the right to Allison Smith. Back out top it goes to Carly Sealscott. Around the horn on the left to Macy Priest. Fires a three, got it, and she's fouled in the act of shooting. Macy Priest drains a three, and she was fouled on the play. Kenzie Garkey picks up her second foul, so Macy will have one free throw here. She's three out of three at the line so far here in the second half. 30-15 score. South Adams leading and now it's 31 to 15 as Macy Priest is perfect at the line today, four out of four. 105 left to go in the third quarter. Here's Carly Niekamp, no good from the left, three point land. Rebound chased down and it goes out of bounds, last touched by South Adams' Macy Priest. Grace Guggenbiller will toss it in here for the Lady Indians. Comes in to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Mullenkamp passing on the left to Carly Niekamp. Callie Wendell with it now. She tries to pass to Grace Guggenbiller, and there's a foul on Grace Guggenbiller as intercepting the pass there for South Adams was Lexi McKibben, and then Grace Guggenbiller reached in and grabbed Lexi McKibben. It will be one and one. Full recovery's been called for a lot of fouls today. South Adams got into the one and one early, early in the first half and the same thing here in the second half. Seal Scott will leave for South Adams and Cora Baker comes back in. Free throws up and good. Again, Lexi McKibben at the line. She's two out of three now at the free throw line. One more coming here. And that one is no good. Bounces out. Rebound came down to Cora Baker, and she was fouled by Fort Recovery. Cora Baker will go to the line for two shots here. 
as the agony continues for Fort Recovery, trailing 32 to 15. At the line, Cora Baker, she missed the first one. She's only one out of three from the free throw line today. Carly Niekamp will go out. Elizabeth Allig comes in for Fort Recovery, playing for the first time today. This one's up, and it's good. One out of two that time for Cora. And it's 33-15, to 15, Fort Recovery trailing the South Adams Lady Starfires here in the third period, 35 seconds to go. And a ball stolen by Macy Priest, lays it up and in. Macy Priest has turned it on here in the second half. 35 to 15 now, 20 point lead for South Adams. Stolen again by South Adams at a foul on Grace Guggenbiller. Two shots coming here for Lexi McKibben. She's two out of four from the line so far today. She's again only a sophomore, and this one's good. 36-15 the score now. Well, Fort Recovery hung in there in the first half, but this third quarter has been all South Adams. South Adams has scored 24 points in the quarter to compare to four for Fort Recovery. Here's an outside shot, no good. And .4 seconds to go, and they're going to say South Adams stepped on the line. Uh, Fort Recovery should have time for a shot here if they work it right. Grace Guggenbiller will toss it in for the Lady Indians. Lobs it in to Kinsey Garkey, but Garkey couldn't grab it, and that's the end of the quarter. 37 to 15 after three. Again, South Adams outscoring Fort Recovery 24 to four in that third quarter. That was a disaster. We'll be back in a moment right after we pause for this. Need a better job where the benefits are great. A family friendly company with competitive pay. Where people stop and greet me when they see my smiling face. Cooper Farms, it's more than a workplace. We're offering $1,000 sign on bonuses for maintenance and CDL drivers. To apply, visit cooperfarmsjobs.com. Cooper Farms, it's more than a workplace. Hello, I'm Kenny Cano from k &L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery, Ohio. For a tractor with big chore versatility and power, ask us at k &L Tractor in Fort Recovery about the 140 to 165 horsepower T7 series tractors from New Holland. They're the all-around workhorse you need for loading, haymaking, mixing feed, and spreading manure. They offer choice of transmissions and unmatched versatility to power implements on front or back. Plus, you work your best in the quiet comfort of a Horizon cab. See us at k &L Tractor Sales in Fort Recovery today. Well, Coach Wayne Krieger has to be very happy today with his Lady Starfires. They, uh, they played a tight game in the first half. It was only 13-11 to 11 at the end of the first half with South Adams leading by two, but they've expanded that lead now to 22 points, 37-15. to 15. South Adams with the ball, almost lost it there, knocked away, picked up by the Lady Stars. Peyton Priest down low, shots up by Seal Scott, no good. Rebound comes down to South Adams. Getting the board was Kristen Wynn. And falling down and losing the ball out of bounds was Seal Scott, Carly Seal Scott. Once again, our coverage tonight from South Adams, the championship games in the ACAC tournaments. Jay County versus Woodland in both the boys and the girls games. Girls start at 6, boys will start at 8 o'clock tonight. You can hear both games right here on the radio if you can't be there. We will be airing the games on 105.3 FM, I might mention. 105.3 FM tonight. We'll have Blackford and Winchester in boys basketball at 100.9 on the FM dial. 
This is foul call on South Adams, so the full recovery has the ball back. Over on the left side. Sage Luthold is in the lineup now for the Lady, Lady Indians. Alexis Wendell gives it off to uh, Amelia Martin, who's in the contest now for Fort Recovery. Back to Mara Pearson, drives, puts it up, can't get it to go down. Knocked out of bounds, gonna be off of South Adams. Mara Pearson, the leading scorer for the Lady Indians this year. She, last few games, she just has not been able to get anything going for her. And when your leading scorer is not scoring, Boy, it's, it's a rough day, and this it's been a rough day today. 15 points in the game, and we're in the fourth quarter for Fort Recovery. Macy Priest, she'll hand it off. Here's a drive to the hoop. Up and no good. Rebound comes to Maddie Guggenbiller for Fort Recovery. Mara Pearson with the ball, stopping, passing back on the outside to Amelia Martin. Now to Mara. Mara good drives to the lane, and there's a foul called on South Adams reaching in. That's going to be called on Pey Peyton Priest. Number three on Peyton Priest. Mara Pearson at the free throw line. She is 0 for 2 from the line today and missed that one. Oh, my goodness. What is going on? What is going on with these Lady Indians? I know they're trying hard out there, but that, that one's no good again. 0 for 4 for Meyer Pearson today from the line. Here's uh, Peyton Priest for South Adams, tries to pass it off. Intersected by Kenzie Garkey, now stolen by Macy Priest from Mara Pearson. Up and no good, and there's a foul called on Kenzie Garkey. Kenzie Garkey is called for the foul, and that's going to send Macy Priest to the line with two shots. Dribbling the ball, lets it fly, and it's good. Thought about popping out of there, but fell through. She is... Uh, Five out of five at the line today for Macy Priest. One more for her. And she missed that one. Rebound comes down to Sage Luthold for Fort Recovery. Over to Kenzie Garkey. Garkey down across the timeline. Drives to the right side. Hands off to Mara Pearson. Mara circles back around to the free throw line. Shots blocked by Macy Priest. And they're going to call a foul on Macy Priest. Should be Mara Pearson at the free throw line for two shots. Mara Pearson at the free throw line. Trying to break the 0-4 streak in the, sh in the free throws for Mara. 0 for 4 today and this one is no good. 0 for 5. One more for Mara. Up and no good again. 0 for 6 for Mara Pearson. That's just unbelievable. She, she has been a fairly decent free throw shooter. Not today. Macy Priest with the ball for South Adams to Peyton Priest. Peyton in the lane, backing in to Mara Pearson. There's going to be a three seconds in the lane called on South Adams. So Kenzie Garkey will toss it in. 38-15, 5 20 to go in the ball game. And Fort Recovery is on the short end of the score. 38 to 15. Out front, Alexis Wendell. She'll pass off to Sage Luthold. Sage back on the outside. It goes to Kenzie Garkey. Back to Alexis Wendell. Back to Kenzie Garkey. Fires the shot. Misses. Rebound, South Adams. 
Shields got, got the rebound. Macy Priest down to Peyton Priest, and she misses a layup. Peyton got the rebound, though, and puts it back up and in. Peyton Priest close to 20 points now. And we got some subs coming in again. Kennedy Molenkamp comes in for Carly Niekamp. Callie Wendell comes in for Mara Pearson. Sage Luthold goes out. And I'm not sure who came in. Greg, I think maybe Grace Guggenbiller came back in for her. So the Lady Indians have Guggenbiller, Garkey, Alexis Wendell, Callie Wendell, and Kennedy Mullenkamp in the lineup. For the South Adams Lady Starfires have Macy Priest and Peyton Priest, along with uh, Lexi McKibben. Also in there is Carly Seal Scott. And the last one, here's Grace Guggenbiller up and no good, and they're going to say she fouled. She shoved off with her, with her arm. The last one in there for South Adams, Cora Baker, is also in the lineup. Offensive foul on Grace Guggenbiller. That's got to be close to four for her. 40-15, 25-point lead for Fort, Fort Recovery uh, for South Adams, I should say. 25-point lead for South Adams here over Fort Recovery. Girls basketball today from the Fortside Fieldhouse. Peyton Priest back to Macy Priest. Drives in and puts it up and missed it, but a foul is called on Fort Recovery. That's going to be called on Kinsey Garkey. Number four on Kinsey. At the line goes Macy Priest. She has 9, 11, 16 points. I think they've all come here in the second half. She missed that free throw. She'll have one more. Michaela Hamrick reports in for South Adams, and Cora Baker goes out. Free throw is up and is good. Got one or two. Macy Priest is 5'7". Her sister is also 5'7". Peyton Priest is 5'7". They are a pretty dynamic duo at guard for South Adams. Now 41 to 15, Fort Recovery. On the short end of the wide margin here. Shots no good by Fort Recovery. Lady Indians have only scored four points in the whole second half. And here we are at 335 to go in the game. Outside Peyton Priest on the left side it goes to Lexi McKibben. Now around to the right, here's Macy Priest with it, drives in, feeds over on the left. Shots fired up, three point basket by Lexi McKibben. That's her first field goal of the day, giving her seven points on the day. And it's now 44 to 15, almost a 30 point lead for South Adams. Callie Wendell with it on the left to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Grace Guggenbiller turns, fires, hits. Finally a basket from Grace Guggenbiller. That is her second basket of the day. Her, I think, um, I think her other one was in the first half. So four points for Grace, and it's 44 to 17. At least we got off that 15, if nothing else. Peyton Priest over to Michaela Hamrick. Hamrick goes right to Macy Priest, back to Hamrick. Hamrick will fire, and oh, just off the mark, no good. Rebound to Alexis Wendell. Gives over to Kennedy Mullenkamp. Mullenkamp comes down. Right side it goes. Callie Wendell on the left. Here's Kennedy Mullenkamp. Three-point shot is in and out. It's been that kind of a day. And a foul's called on the rebound. Let's see who's going to be called. I think South Adams. Yep, Macy Priest gets called for the foul. They're going to put uh, Callie Wendell at the free throw line for Fort Recovery. Callie has two points on the day so far. First time at the free throw line for Callie. Bounces the ball. Let's it fly and got it. One more for Callie Wendell. Makes it 44 to 18. 
Bounces the ball, lets it fly, and this is good again. Two for two for Callie. That's a bright spot for the Lady Indians. South Adams with the basketball. Allison Smith will bring it up. Works her way to the right side. Goes all the way to the baseline. And there is a foul called on Fort Recovery. There have been a ton of fouls called on the Lady Indians. That was on Kenzie Garkey, and she fouls out of the game with 2.04 left to go in the contest. Mara Pearson coming back in for Fort Recovery. Allison Smith goes to the free throw line. She's one of the seniors on this South Adams team. It's up and no good. Really only two seniors play any amount of time. Kristen Wynn and Carly Sealscott. That one's also good. Or that one is good. One out of two at the line. 45 to 19 now. Fort recovery with the ball. Grace Guggenbiller on the left. She'll pop the shot. No good. Rebound comes down. A foul's called on South Adams as Kennedy Mullenkamp is fouled in the act of shooting. Kennedy has not scored yet today. So come on, Kennedy, get on the board here. She's had several shots. They just haven't gone in for her. First time at the free throw line for Kennedy. Bounces the ball, eyes the basket. It's good. Impressive performance by South Adams today. They've had two great games this week against Adams Central and now Fort Recovery. This one's good. They lost their conference tournament game uh, to Woodland on Tuesday night. That's been the only downer for South Adams this week. Here's a drive to the hoop, and it's good by Emerson Smith. Emerson Smith got it to go down. It's 47 to 21. Grace Guggenbiller on the right. She'll pass to Car or Tamara Pearson. Turns, fires, misses. Rebound comes to. Uh, Allison Smith goes all the way, misses the shot, but she's fouled in the act of shooting. And Allison Smith will go back to the line again, and she was there a moment ago and hit one out of two. Smith 47-21. This one's up and good. One more for Allison. South Adams led 7-4 at the first quarter. They led by two at halftime, 13-11. But then a disastrous third quarter for Fort Recovery, being outscored 24-4 in the third quarter. South Adams taking a 37-15 lead at the quarter break, and they now lead 49-21. 28-point lead for South Adams. There's Grace Guggenbiller on a shot, no good. Rebound, rebound comes down to Callie Wendell. Mara Pearson, no good on a three. Rebound to South Adams. There's a shot from outside, no good. Missed by Delaney Dunnick. And Mara Pearson got the rebound down to 44 seconds. Kennedy Mollenkamp is fouled in the act of shooting. She'll be back at the free throw line. She hit two for two from the line a moment ago. Let's see if she can do that again. Again, Sebastian Solis, our studio producer at the radio station this afternoon. Free throw is no good by Kennedy this time. Neil Spencer, the producer for FortRecoveryRadio.com. One more is good this time. So three out of four for Kennedy. South Adams with the basketball. Left side, back outside. There is Lexi McKibben with the ball. Down low, shots fired up and good. Michaela Hamrick hits the shot for South Adams. 17 seconds left to go. Kennedy Mullenkamp on the right to Mara Pearson. Cross-court pass to Alexis Wendell. Wendell in the lane. Pops the shot. Doesn't go. Rebound Kennedy Mullenkamp. Good. And she's fouled in the act of shooting. 
Makes five points now for Kennedy, and she'll have a free throw coming here. Fort Recovery boys have the night off tonight. They will play uh, next on Friday at home against St. Henry next Friday. Free throws good by Kennedy Mullenkamp. Fort Recovery girls play at, at South Adams on uh, Tuesday night and then at St. Henry on Thursday. We'll have both those games for you on the radio next week. That's the end of the misery. 51 to 25. Impressive win for South Adams. They outscore Fort Recovery in the second half. 38 to 14 to win this game. 51 to 25. We'll wrap it up just a moment right after we pause for this. For mechanical work on cars, vans, and more, see Wayne Oil on Fortside Street, Fort Recovery, Ohio. Farmers, don't forget, Wayne Oil opens daily at 7 a.m. They have tires by Michelin, Firestone, Goodyear, and Mastercraft. Plus, Wayne Oil supplies home, farm, and industrial heating oil, too. Call Wayne Oil in Fort Recovery, 419-375-4256. Hi, this is Jerry Kaup of Kaup Pharmacy, a locally owned Health Mart pharmacy. At Kaup Pharmacy, our compounding pharmacist works with health care providers to change the form of medications to make it easier to use. We add flavors, adjust the strength, or combine drugs to make a customized medication for the patient. Kaup Pharmacy is located in Fort Recovery, Ohio, Burn, and Union City, Indiana. So stop in and visit us at kauppharmacy.com. Health Mart, taking the time to listen and care. At the St. Henry Bank, we take pride in our community, its farming heritage and its banking needs, and we're there for you when you need us. Whether you're looking for your next piece of farm equipment or the purchase of seed, fertilizer, or chemicals, the St. Henry